The preservation of salmon began with a method known as kippering, first recorded in 1479 when a fishery was asked to provide three dozen kippered salmon a year to a monastery in Fife. Nowadays, of course, smoked salmon is more about taste than anything else, and nothing beats the taste of Scottish smoked salmon. Now, for smoked salmon, obviously, you've got to begin with a salmon. So, uh, Keith, uh, I like your office. Um, <laughs> where are we? Uh, <coughs> we're on the River Teviot, um, which is one of the main tributaries of the River Tweed mm -hmm. and the Scottish borders. Um, fishing for salmon here today. So you're the main man at TV at Smokery? That's right, yeah. Um, smoke salmon for a living. Uh, how long good. have you been smoking salmon now? Um, we've been doing it on this premises now for about 12 years here. So when the salmon see the size of your rod, Keith, do they just give up? <laughs> Not really, no. It's, um, <laughs> it's quite difficult at salmon fishing. We could go from anything now, you know, here. We may catch one. Um, chances are we won't, as a lot of salmon fishing up on the borders will tell you. Are you trying to cast aspersions on my casting neck? No. Do you want me to show you what to do? If well, just, I'll, I'll, if I just bring it up. <coughs> mm -hmm. Oh, right. Let's. Uh, I'll just let it back down again then. Right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, not as easy as it looks, is it? No. First thing to do, really, if you can roll it out, right. just bring it to the surface. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as we come back, you let the rod go, let it stop at one o'clock, you'll feel the line pull and then gotcha. pull forward. Gotcha. You want to try that? Have a go at that. So up. Stop. Forward. Well, I'll try that again. Ah, that's it. Now you're getting there. That, <laughs> now that was a king cast. Not, not, <coughs> not bad for Salmon something. beware. So what's the season for salmon fishing? Yeah, the, the season runs from the 1st of February to the um, end of November. Um, we right. have three main, main seasons in that. We have a spring run of fish. Um, I keep catching There's this There's a summer run of grills, and we, the, the, main, the, main, the main run on the Tweed and the TV are autumn salmon. Um, it's probably the, the most famous salmon river in the world, actually, in the Tweed in the autumn. See, there was actually a consortium of salmon who just asked me to give up salmon fishing because I was so bad at it. <laughs> I don't think we're in any danger of um, causing extinction today. Well, I'll tell you what then, as the salmon have kind of, you know, gone off on an excursion and they're not mm -hmm. biting, or they're probably too busy laughing at me, uh, can we go and have a look at some real Yeah, salmon? we'll go up to the smokery. I'll show you the catch that was made on the tweed yesterday. A few came in last night that are ready for, ready right. for go. Thanks, mate. OK. And uh, like your rod. Thank you very much. <laughs> So having caught uh, my salmon, mm -hmm. now I've got, we've, got, we've got our gutting kit on and our Michael Jackson gloves. What's the first thing you do with this, Keith? Right, um, to gut this salmon, you can see there's a nice fresh run fish from the river here. So what makes, it, what makes it fresh then? Well, you can see it's got a nice silver colour to it. I mean, this is how they enter the, the tweed system. Right. Um, they should be nice and fresh like this. This is the, what's going to make the best smoked salmon. We get good fresh fish like this and we're off to a winner. So what's some fresh then? Well. So you, you take this fish here. Well, that's a totally um, different colour, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's Why exactly is the same species, but this one's coming up. At this time of year, they're coming up here to spawn. Right. Um, now, this is getting its spawning colours on. Right. I mean, you, this really would class, I would say, as an unseasonable salmon. So you've gutted it, we've sli we, you've, got, you've cut the skin off, so what do you do now? Well, you, mm -hmm. you fillet it, yeah? Yeah, we're ready to fillet it. Okay. There's one here. There's another nice little silver fish. Right. Are you going to have a go? Well, you, you do the first bit and I'll do okay, the, the second yeah. bit. Right, so what I do, I mean, obviously, there, there it is. This fish has been cleaned right, already. Right, right. Um, I'm feeling at the back of the head there's a small indentation at the back of the head. There always is. The knife goes in. Um, have a check on the other side, just make sure it's above the backbone. Above the backbone? Yeah, and we're angling the knife down along the bone. So you can feel the bone with I the knife? I can feel the bone going down there. Right. And we just slowly make our way towards the tail. Right. Feeling that bone all the way. So you make it look easy. Right to the think. tail. Yeah, but I've been doing it for a few years. That's right. I'll just put that one over. So the second bit is you take the bone out. So I've got to That's insert right, yeah. under the bone, mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. and come out there or where? Yeah, come out. So your knife's pointing down below the fish. Right. You're going to go on top of the. That's there. it. Is that yeah, good? That's it, yeah. And I yeah. angle up to the bone, do I? Yeah. Now what I would do is if you put if you put your hand on top of the, right. the knife, so you're actually pressing against your heart your hand. Right. That's it, that's fine. Just take your time. Now you want to go on top of this bit here. As on your knife top of is it, gonna okay. stick, yeah. 
That's it. Just keep your knife working away towards the tail. Ah, ah, you're sticking on a bit. Just come up, yeah, just get above that, that's fine. Keep working away. Uh -huh. See, I think you've got a blunt knife in <laughs> I think you're stuck in that bone. Okay, well, I'll let you finish that off. Actually, I mean, I'll let you do the easy bit. Okay. Okay. I'll just finish the tail off. Right. Okay. So we're now lifting the tail up. Right. Mm -hmm. And then Again. you cut the head off. That's it, yeah. Just separate it from the head there. Right, so you, I just cut the head off. Mm-hmm. There you go. And it goes down there. Yep. Pull the head away. Perfect. Uh, there we go. Not a lot left of him anymore. Keith, you sleep with the fishes. <laughs> so now we've got our two fillets, go straight into the brine solution. That's it, yeah. Okay, right. So it's in there 12 hours, and then after that? After that, then we go on to the smoker. Okay, let's go to smoking. Okay. Right, so we've uh, we've got rid of the over the plastic there. So this is the smoker, yeah? Yes it is, yeah. There we go. Right. All right. So this is it's been in the brine twelve hours, and you put this in here and you oak smoke it. Yes, we do. Yeah. Um, traditional Scottish smoked salmon. We do it for two days, um, smoked over oak chippings. Cold smoked. Cold smoked. Yeah. Right. So how long has this been in? This has only just gone on this morning, so it's still got its two days oh, to go. Oh, we've got some I can try. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Come Ooh. this way. I'm your boy, Keith. The moment of truth. Let me taste it. This is it. Hand it over. This is the real thing. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Still kicking. I'm going to eat this straight and then I'll try it with some of your dill, as you mentioned. Mm. Why is that so much better than the shop bought salmon I get? Well, it's really because we, like I say, we, we, we smoke it mm. for 48 hours. This gives it a, um, a, a nice depth of flavour. So actually, by smoking it longer, you get a better flavour. Yeah, we than... do, yeah. Mm -hmm. And people actually bring their fish here for you to actually. Yes, prepare... they do, yeah. They catch them by rod and line and bring them in and we. Mm. We, we take them in, slice them, and send them on to them. That's delicious to deal as well. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you can taste the smoke, and it just tastes so much fresher. Well, Keith, it's been a pleasure. And Sarah, I suggest the next time you're in the borders, bring your waders. <laughs> <laughs>